good morning students so today we have to start with the third whorl of the flower and this third whorl of the flower is known as androsium okay so this androsium has three basic parts that is anther filament and connective in the anther it has the pollen sac and the pollen sac is filled with the pollen grain and the pollen grain has the male nuclei the anther is attached to the filament through a type of connective tissue that is known as connective so let's see the diagram over here this is the anther this is the filament the anther is connected with the filament through a connective if you will take the ts of the anther it has the pollen sacs and the pollen sacs are filled with the minute dust like a structure known as pollen grain and the pollen grain will have the male nuclei which will take part in the process of fertilization now we have to see the types of stamens or the according to the number of stamens there are two types that is definite number of stamens it means it is having a fixed number of stamens whereas so many stamens all together will be known as indefinite or numerous stamens okay so if it is having only one stamen then such a condition is known as monoandrous diandrous it will have two stamen tri and tetra so on okay so according to your syllabus you have to study about the polyandrous and what is polyandrous with indefinite number of stamens so let's see the polyandrous condition where there are indefinite number of stamens this is the anther and this is the filament and all these anther and filament is free from each other it is basically found in case of petunia next we have to see the cohesion of stamens cohesion it means staying together so when the stamens are staying together in these three five situations actually these two that is the syngenesis condition and the synandrous condition that you don't have to study according to your syllabus according to your syllabus you have to study about monoadelphous diadelphous and polyadelphous condition okay adelphous it means brotherhood and since the stamen is the male part of the flower male reproductive part of the flower so adelphous it means brotherhood so brotherhood would be found in the male parts of the flower okay so cohesion of stamens that is monoadelphous condition so what is there in the monoadelphous condition all the filaments are joined together into a single staminal tube like structure like this here okay whereas the anther remains free whereas in diadelphous condition if there is 10 stamens the nine stamens filaments will join together to form one bundle anthers remaining free from each other and the other stamen will be free from it so together there is two bundles not bundles one bundle and one stamen separated from each other so that is why it is known as diadelphous condition now what is in polyadelphous condition in polyadelphous condition the filaments are joined together into many bunches more than two whereas the anther remains free from each other so such condition polyadelphous condition is found in bombax whereas the diadelphous condition is found in p and the monoadelphous condition is very commonly found in hibiscus so this is all for today what is your homework now your homework is to draw this what do you mean by androsium what is the unit of androsium then you have to write down the structure location and function of androsium that you have already that we have already discussed you have to draw this diagram then you have to write down 
the definition of polyandrous condition with an example and then you will write down the definition of monoadulfous, diadulfous and polyadulfous condition with example of each. We should also know what happens when the anthers are joined together and filaments are free. So there are two such situations that is syngenesious and synandrous. In syngenesious condition the anther is joined whereas the filaments are free. Whereas in synandrous condition the anther is also joined as well as the filament is also joined. So that is why syn it means together. So all the male parts will be together whether it is anther or filament. So these two is not the part of your syllabus. So this is all for today. Thank you everyone.